Hey guys, how's it going? Frey here from Tools and Gadgets, and today we have the Asus Rapture GTAX 11000. So today, guys, we are going to be opening this one to check for water damage inside because I accidentally slipped a Pepsi can or spill went all the way inside of this router. So let's go ahead and open it up. So first, what you want to do is that grab a precision tools that would come in handy. And let's go ahead and open this one up. So the screws here are located here at the bottom of this rubber base here. Let's go ahead and take all of those out. All right, so it's kind of a bit hard when it's the first time doing it. So as you can see, there's an exposed here, a Phillips screw. So let's just finish this three more here. Okay, so after taking out the rubber bases here, let's go ahead and get our Phillip head screwdriver and let's unscrew this up. So as you can see, we broke the warranty seal here, but we don't need that anyways because this is a almost a two year old product. Okay, so after that, we are going to be cracking this one open over here on the side. Take note, it has a clip on it, so be sure to grab a, your smallest or thinnest the flathead. So I find easier opening here on the antenna area because it has more space compared to the ones here. All right, and I think we're in. Oh yeah, perfect. So the main concern that I have here is the one at the top here. So we'll be taking out this screws here so that we have a better view of the front uh, motherboard. So let's go ahead and do that. And the front is now exposed, so we'll just take out this uh, RGB controller here, just like that. And we are here, so as we can see, the heat sink is a little bit wet here. So we'll just uh, damp it dry, then yeah, we'll be putting this back in all right so i've already checked and there are no damage here thank god at the motherboard so let's go ahead and put this back in so the first thing is we want to con connect this rgb controller down here And then we'll align the Ethernet ports. 
So once that is now aligned, let's go ahead and connect the RGB controller again. There you go. All right, and just make sure that antennas here are sitting perfectly fine. Then if everything's okay, let's go ahead and screw this back in. The other one goes through right here inside this heat sink. And the other one goes right here. So in taking out the motherboard, there are only two screws. But taking out the back plate, it has four screws. All right, so let's... So when that is done, let's go ahead and put this back in and we are done. So in putting it back in, guys, just take note of this, that it could not fit in here because there's an Ethernet port down here. So this, I thought at first, is it goes back to back. So just like that. And it goes like that but it's not so it's it goes on the other side and it will just you could hear the click did you hear the click guys so yeah that's all there so all we need to do is just put it back the screws in and we are done We are all done just like brand new guys so yeah if you have any questions write them down below and i'll see you again in our next vlog bye guys